This is in Virginia. I want to play this audio. This is in Virginia. The legislature is now talking about a new bill to make abortion legal all the way up to birth. Now, we have a partial birth abortion restriction, right? A ban. It's a ban. Can't do it. Uh, how can you do this all the way to birth? Well, you don't partially birth. You have to kill the child, not not with the feet and the shoulders out, and just the head. Which is how they used to do it. Right. Now they just go in and kill the child, and then you birth the baby two days later. Okay? So you're still going through all of the birth. You're doing that, but you're birthing a dead baby. And think about that. You're delivering the child. Mm-hmm. You're just delivering the child after it died. Right. But so you're you could easily deliver the child alive and then give it up for adoption. That correct. was always the argument was, well, we don't want to carry it to term. I mean, that's, you're, you're causing emotional distress and all these terrible things. Well, you're actually birthing the child in this scenario. And still, they want it to happen. And they think that they, they, their, their excuse is, well, it might be emotionally distressful for the, uh, for the woman. Well, wait, will it be more emotionally distressed to have a child than give it to a loving family or to birth a dead child and go through that experience? Wh- which is it? Which is it? We know it has nothing to do with either one of those things. Correct. It has nothing to do with Correct. it. Correct. This is just leading us to murder children. Children. Okay. So listen to the questions. This is in Virginia in legislature as they are discussing the bill as written. Listen to this. How late in the third trimester could a a physician perform an abortion if he indicated it would impair the mental health of the of the woman? Or physical health. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm Um, talking about the mental health. So I mean, through the third trimester. The third trimester goes all the way up to forty weeks. Okay, but to the end of the third trimester. Yep, I don't think we have a limit in the bill. Where it's obvious that a woman is about to give birth. She has physical signs of, of, that she is about to give a birth. Would that still be a point at which she could request an abortion if she was so certified? She's dilating. Uh, Mr. Chairman, that would be a, you know, a decision that the doctor the physician and the woman. I understand that. that. I'm asking if your bill allows that. My bill would allow that. Yes. So it's if in the off chance that a woman experiences pain during pregnancy or birth, that would be, that would be a threat to her health and therefore she could have an abortion. So if the, if the birth and somehow, and I don't know if this has ever occurred to a woman, but if it somehow becomes painful during the birthing process, if there is an indication of discomfort physically, or mentally, uh, at that point, they can have a, a mental health exemption from these laws. Yeah, except the hmm. problem is, if it's you know uh, going to be painful or hard, she still has to give birth to the child two days later, oh, just sure. dead. Oh, well, of course. But that, luckily, though, it will there'll be no mental stress because the baby won't be alive. That's where it all comes from, Glenn. Uh, the birthing process is a very. It's always been a wonderfully easy process for women. And now if we happen to see some discomfort, that certainly the abortion's the only answer there. This is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, there's no one on earth who believes that that is, is anything other than murder than murder. I mean, like you're talking about a nine month baby that can come out at any time. You're going to have to birth it anyway. It's just going to be dead when you birth it instead of alive. There's no way to justify that. It's impossible. And, you know, if you go back to the partial birth abortion ban, what you'll find is a lot of Democrats saying that is ridiculous. We're never going to do that. That's not what we're talking about. This is a slippery slope, though. You're going to go for more. You're going to go for more. And that was their argument against the bill. It was never against partial birth abortion. It was against, look, you're going to try to go after. This is your slippery slope. It's your little window into take away all women's rights when it comes to their reproductive health. Now it's going to be a litmus test for every Democratic candidate to come into that primary and tell you that, yes, three seconds before birth is appropriate. You know what? Maybe we should get rid of that partial birth abortion ban. Maybe a couple of minutes after, if it's only a couple of minutes, maybe if it's still connected to the umbilical cord, it counts and we could still do it then. They will go through every iteration of this to try to justify it because they're all going to be in this giant contest to move further and further left to bring uh, the death of innocent children to the foreground of this debate it's a it's a it's a miracle if you're if you're wanting 
crazy socialists to run against because uh, that's what you're going to see here. But it's scary because it, once it gets down to a one-on-one -on -one contest, anything can happen. And if Kamala Harris or, or you know, one of these crazy, any of them, any, any of them any really, of them. it's going to be. Mean, you think Beto is going to not no, march to this tune? No, he'll of be course, there too. all of them will.